Okay, so someone asked for more explanation about the multiplication sign rules um, over email, and so I'm just going to talk a little bit about that. Um, and, you know, just, just to give you the rules, if you take a negative number and you multiply it by a positive number, you end up with a negative number. If you take a positive number and you multiply it by a positive number, then you end up with a positive number. And if you take a negative times a negative, you end up with a positive. Okay, um, and this right here, by the way, this top one, negative times positive, can go in either direction. You can have a positive first and then be multiplying it by a negative second, or a negative times a positive, doesn't matter. When you have one negative and one positive and you multiply, you get a negative. Two positives give you a positive and two negatives give you a positive. Now the question really was asked on this right here. Um, the person was you know, saying, I understand these up here, but understanding a negative times a negative equaling a positive was giving them a hard time. So there's a couple of ways to think about this negative times negative thing. And um, I'll just show you both ways to think about it and then you, know, you can think about it however you like. So let's just take the example of um, negative 4 times negative 3. Okay, So according to our rule up here, negative 4 times negative 3, we have a negative times a negative, so our sign would end up being positive. Um, and then we just think about what 4 times 3 is. 4 times 3 is 12. Now the reason, the, the way that you can think about this is you can say, well, you, you can think about it this way. I'm taking 4 times a negative 3 and if I take 4 times negative 3, I would get a negative 12, but then I'm taking the opposite of that. And the opposite of a negative 12 would actually be a positive 12. So you can think of one of these signs as being associated with the signed number and the other one as taking you into the opposite of whatever that product would be. Um, that's one way to think about it. The other way that might be more helpful is to just take a look at the pattern of what happens when we multiply numbers. So um, Let's just take a look at uh, this example right here. Let's say that I'm multiplying 3 times negative 5. Okay, um, So 3 times negative 5, and by the way, notice that I'm using parentheses here to denote multiplication, and here I'm using a dot. These are equivalent expressions. The dot means multiplication in the same way um, you know, that the parentheses do, and that means the same thing also. So I'll just I'll do it both ways. So 3 times negative 5, that is a negative 15, because we know a negative times a positive <clears throat> gives us a negative. And then, you know, if I just continue this pattern, 2 times negative 5, that is a negative 10. And 1 times negative 5, that is negative 5. And 0 times negative 5 gives me 0. Now take a look at what's happening here. We're going from negative 15 to negative 10 to negative 5 to 0 as we decrease this number by 1. So notice every time I'm multiplying by a negative 5 here. And as this number goes down by 1, you know, this is going from 3 to 2 to 1 to 0. This number over here is going down, or excuse me, it's actually going up. It's going up by 5 because this is going up because remember on the number line, you know, negative 15 would be over here. It'd be to the left of negative 10. Negative 10 is closer to 0 than negative 15 is. So we're going up by 5, up by 5, up by 5. So if I were to continue to go down here, that would give me the next number, 3, 2, 1, 0, would be negative 1. If I took a negative 1 times a negative 5, the pattern has to continue here. I have to continue to go up by 5. So a negative times a negative there is going to end up giving me a positive. Um, and then you can see this pattern continue. Negative 2 times negative 5. Got to go up by 5. So that's going to give me a positive 10. Okay, so I mean, you can think about it just in terms of the pattern and how this goes. Or you can think about it as taking the opposite of a negative. Um, but really when it comes down to it, it's just a rule. Uh, negative times a negative is a positive. These sort of give you an explanation of why, but it's really just something that you need to know that when you multiply two negatives together that you get a positive. Okay.